New attend a math teacher's email hacked, then pornographic images, anti-Semitic and racist messages blasted to just about every student in her district. Our Charlie DeMar has the story. One started coming, and then after like the first one, a couple more came. Email. A teacher's email had gotten hacked. After email. Each person got like a different amount. This week, every Niles Township High School student received a stream of anti-Semitic, racist, homophobic, and overall offensive emails. A few of them had gifs of pornographic images that were very disturbing. Sent from a Niles West math teacher's account, now being looked into as a possible hack. Not at all something that you would see from a Niles West teacher, which is like what made it really evident that it was a hack and not just like a teacher going off the rails. And for Niles West seniors, Henry Gussis and Allie Lipset. I felt targeted. Some of the messages were personal. I was really taken back by the swastika. When I saw the emails about uh, the Jews, it definitely made it feel a lot more personal. And I'm Jewish, so it was upsetting to see the, the anti-Semitic stuff. It's like hard to not feel targeted when like, like when you're part of like the minority that, that those emails were about. Maine Township's high school district says they too were hacked this week. An email server taken over and all of their websites showed hate speech oh my God. and inappropriate images. It's disruptive, it's unnecessary. Neil Gussis is a Niles West parent. Why somebody would go through such measures uh, to disturb uh, the school. I know that Niles West is just like a really diverse school in general. So, I mean, I'm sure that like every kid was affected by this. The students' email accounts were suspended temporarily just as a precaution. The Skokie Police Department is investigating over in Maine Township. They also filed a police report, both school districts coming out strongly condemning those offensive messages. We are live in Skokie tonight. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Brad. Charlie, thank you.